Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I have an updated review for you and it's on this pair of shoe from Sarah Flint. These are their Natalie leather flats and they are so classy and stylish. They go with so many outfits and they are actually very comfortable. I will go into the details of what I thought of these shoes since I've had them for about six months now and also share with you a new pair that I have not unboxed here but you might have seen on my Instagram. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Emily and I love handbags. I also love fashion, travel, and luxury. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future unboxing or review videos. I love doing my unboxing videos, but I also like to give you an updated review of how I liked the item after using it for a few months. Now I know everybody has very unique feet and different shoes that fit them well, so I try to share it on my channel many different versions, kinds, brands in order to help you find a pair that works for you. All I can do is share how these work for me and hopefully that can at least give you an idea of whether these shoes are good because I think the quality, the craftsmanship and all of that should be the same. The fit is a little bit more unique to the person, but I hope that covering some of the other points would still be helpful. Like I said, I got these six months ago. I unboxed it on my channel. If you're interested, I'll link it below. But these ones are their most classic and I think original styles. This one is still currently being sold on their website in tons of different colors. It also comes in limited edition colors. So if you like to look for ones for the holidays or something, they certainly have it available in those colors. I went for like a brown color because it's very classic without being just your usual black pair of flats. I also don't have any brown leather flats and so these ones were sort of like missing in my wardrobe. First I'll go into the wear and tear of this shoe. I, I mean shoes are meant to be worn on the ground so as you can see they have some scuffing um, you know at the at the tip of the uh, toe area but still not not that bad. And if you looked around, you'll see that there are some scuffs around the heel part as well, um, but nothing major along the leather. Now, it is a Vachetta tanned leather, and you can see that it's smooth right here, but you can still see these little dots. These dots were made by like liquids or water or something like rain or anything like that when it soaks into the um, to the leather. And this happens with handbags as well. So some people like to treat it. I did not treat mine. And you can see, yeah, just across the shoe that there are wear, you know, around, but that's sort of expected from wearing it on the ground. However, on the top of the shoe, you can see it's still fairly pristine. And same with the inside of the shoe. Sharing with you the other pair, as you can see, there are a little bit more water marking over here, but again, I don't think it makes the shoe look bad. It just kind of changes the style of it a little bit, a little scuff. Um, right there and yeah so I mean the, the bottom's obviously dirty so I'm trying to hold it in such a way where I don't touch the bottom but there we are there is not a lot of padding there's a little bit as right right here but there's not too terribly much along the rest of the shoe the inside of it is leather lined and this like suede patch right here it's all leather on the outside and this is made in Italy handcrafted in Italy now I think with a lot of shoes there are padding if it's a pair of heels which i can show you in the other pair sitting right there but um, in terms of this one there aren't too you know too much padding because it is a pair of flats so i do think that you know it doesn't need it there is a little bit of arch support like right here but not terribly much uh but you can all also put inserts in if you so desire. So that was a close up of the wear and tear of the shoe after six months. I wanted to share with you what I thought of the craftsmanship and the material. Looking at the shoe before I started wearing it and now, it has not had any issues about falling apart. Now you do see scuffs because that's part of the use, but even over use, no pop seams, no like inserts moving around, there's no bows are ripping off, there's no cracking, there's no like um, anything that you would deem as part of the shoe that is coming apart. You can see that the stitchings are all in place, there's no wrinkling, there's no ripping, there's no like 
uh, glue that is like giving so that the inside of the shoe shifts. Everything seems to be in very good condition given that even though it bends a lot like this, it's not broken or torn here at these pressure points and the heel is still great. Um, everything about this shoe is still intact from a, a craftsmanship point of view. Now, having owned more luxury high-end shoes, I can say that the leather does feel extremely beautiful. It's it's soft, it's smooth, but it holds over time. It does have the watermarks on it, but that's due to the leather being sort of untreated, and so that is expected. Um, in terms of the bottom of the shoe, it is really well made. When I walk, I can hear like the wood material hitting the the floor, so I know that it's holding strongly, um, but I don't feel the wood on my foot, so it does it is created in such a way where it gives you the comfort, but it's still very sturdy and it's just a beautiful shoe. So let me just share with you some pros and cons. Some of the cons are that it is a little bit on the expensive side for a leather pair of flats. It does retail for $425, but I do have a $50 off for your first pair um, with the promo code here. And I'll also list the link below if you wanted just to click straight to it and it'll automatically apply. Now, I do think though it is worth it if you can see yourself using it a lot. If you're somebody who wears flats a lot and you like a pair of beautiful leather flats that will last, I would say that this does do the job. Like with a lot of expensive shoes, it does cost you more, but if, if you can wear it a lot more times than the cost per wear does go down versus just buying a new pair of cheaper flats um, every six months, you just need one that will last you a few years or more than a few years. Another con, I would say it, I did have a break in period. Now, I don't, I wanna preface this with the fact that I've also seen other people with this Natalie flat and they had no issue. They say it's a dream to wear. They say that it was, you know, nice right out of the box. For me, it wasn't. And again, this is going back to the first point that I made, which was everybody's foot is a little different. So for mine, I did have like maybe two or three wears of break-in period before it felt like comfortable and easy to walk in. I don't wear socks with these leather flats. It feels amazing to have your foot against the leather lining. So I don't, I don't really like to wear uh, socks with it, but um, it does have certain points where the leather is not has not softened yet. And when you first wear it for the first two or three times, it does rub into your feet once you've worn it for a while. That being said, it has softened over time now since I've worn it, you know, over a dozen times, actually more than a dozen times, but, um, but you can see it still holds its shape, but it's more soft now. So perhaps my feet were just more sensitive, perhaps the leather that I chose, because you can get it in other leathers as well, it's a little bit more stiff. I don't no, but I just wanted to point out that that was a con for me because I did have to, you know, get through maybe two or three times worth of wear before actually finding this comfortable all around. Some of the pros of the shoe is that it is a very beautiful cognac brown. It's so rich in color. It pops. It goes with a lot of my outfits. I've worn it with more casual outfits for just, you know, strolling around. Um, I've worn it to work, so you can wear it with like a business-like um, outfit. You can also wear it in a dressy outfit where you have a dress and you're going to an event. Um, so I do have some of my outfits posted on my Instagram at clutch to carry all if you are interested in seeing what they look like. But yeah, I just wanna say it's very versatile and it's a beautiful color that goes with a lot of different colors. Another pro is that it is very unique. So I'm not a one that likes flashy um, styles. And so I love that it's beautiful and like I said already, the color, how it's vibrant, but there's also a very subtle detail that I have not seen anywhere else so that I do feel like this is not just another pair of shoes that you can just grab off you know, the shelf, but it is very beautiful and it is handcrafted. So you can definitely see the details here. So those are my main pros and cons. If there are any other questions about 
what I thought, any additional information that I could provide to you, um, list it in the comments below. I do want to point out this other pair of shoes that's sitting right here. I know this is not an updated review of this shoe, but I realize I have not talk to you about this shoe yet. This one is another pair of Sarah Flint shoes and it's their Parker heels. It's beautiful. It is mesh right here with a velvet cap toe. There's also velvet along the back and it has a little uh, kind of sling strap right here at the ankle. So it is gorgeous. Now I did buy this shortly after I was gifted that pair. So that pair, just for transparency, was gifted to me, but I loved the brand and I loved the style so much that I went ahead and bought this myself afterwards, I think a few months after. I never did an unboxing, but I also did want to share with you that these are as beautiful as those are. And I don't get as much wear out of these ones just because there are very tall heels. They are, th I think, three and a half inches and they do have more padding. So I, I wanted to bring this here because I wanted to show you how much more padding that this pair of heels have. And you can see that the arch is very padded as well. For their heels, they do have a, re a metal reinforcement in inside so that you it doesn't wobble. And it is just the details on this is just beautiful. Now the Parkers have not been available on their website for a while, but I did see it pop up in the sale recently. So I wanted to share this with you now in case you are interested. I will be posting sale information on my Instagram stories. I do that often because usually the sales are only for a day or two. So I like to get that out fast and you know, then it's over. So I don't wanna create a whole YouTube video on it. But if you are interested, definitely follow me on my Instagram at clutch to carry all. And I will be updating you on sales because this gorgeous just little lady here is on sale sometimes and it usually only comes back during those sales which is really weird because it's so beautiful I don't know why they don't keep it there um, but this this one does come in a shorter height if you're you know faint-hearted or you're not into really tall heels I will say that they do have a shorter heel height which also will look beautiful but more comfortable um, this one also does come in flats, so I'm not gonna lie. This one's definitely not as comfortable as the pair of flats, but for how tall it is, I do find it pretty amazing how long I can be in it. And just in case this is the first time you're hearing about Sarah Flint, which I should have told you in the beginning because I got I got too excited doing the updated review. Sarah Flint is located in New York and Sarah Flint herself is the founder as well as um, the brains behind how to get these sourced from Italy. She designs a lot of these shoes herself and I think this brand is just beautifully run by a beautiful woman. So I, I do really support the company and which is why I've also fallen in love and gotten my second pair. Might be getting a third pair, we'll see. <laughs> I do wanna remind you that if this is your first time getting a pair of shoes, I do have a promo code, um, which I will list below in the description bar as well as with the link. I will also link these two pairs of shoes in case you're interested. The Parkers, like I said, I don't think is available like all year round, but I will be posting a sale if there is one coming up. I would love your thoughts on these shoes as well as whether you find these videos informational. I always appreciate your feedback. So thank you so much to those who have been giving them so that I know how to make my videos better next time. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.